Kind of nice that January, after everything that month put us through, tried to make up for it with a really nice day yesterday. But I don't think a lot of us are uh, quick to forget the blizzard-like conditions and the uh, stretch of very cold weather we had through the middle of the month. We did get up to 61 degrees yesterday. Of course, that was our warmest day of the month, the last day of the month. It's pretty typical that that can happen. But uh, our coldest day was back in January, January 14th, when we dropped to 18 below in the morning. And then look at this precipitation when you melt down all that snow and the rain somewhat the rain and mix that we saw throughout the month just uh, under an inch for the month, which is about a quarter of an inch above normal. And of course we were above normal in terms of the snowfall we saw throughout the month too, almost five inches above normal. January isn't normally our snowiest month. It's usually February, so that's something to keep in mind. But uh, this February I'm looking forward to the warmer temperatures by the end of this month, more sunshine too. Uh, the sunset will get pushed back to after six o'clock and uh, we'll actually get those six o'clock sunsets back as soon as the middle of the month, but average highs will jump into the middle 40s, average lows into the 20s. That puts it in perspective, doesn't it? How warm we are so far this morning uh, that uh, even by the end of this month, our average lows are just 23 degrees and we're we've been sitting in the 30s so far this morning and actually the past several mornings. But yeah, it is milder out there. Uh, there has been some patchy areas of fog, especially in northeast Nebraska. They've had some clear skies overnight and uh, some fog developing up that way. So if you've got to travel that way, keep that in mind early this morning. Barry Law camera looking pretty quiet towards the north uh, portions of Lincoln. 34 degrees right now at the airport. 41 though in Beatrice. 41 also in Nebraska City or excuse me, Fall City. Nebraska City is at uh, 39. And then there's uh, temperatures that are nearing freezing in and around the Tri Cities and Columbus and Norfolk. This is the area of that patchy and dense fog, so it's likely a little bit freezing fog with some of those temperatures falling below freezing. So keep that in mind. That could be uh, making for some slick conditions up towards that way. But we do have some clouds that are increasing from the south. This will kind of add uh, to the day today, but it won't actually hinder the temperatures all that much. I'll show you that here in a second. But uh, watch this low level cloud deck that also is coming for these clouds that are increasing from the south. This is moving towards uh, the south and west. These clouds are coming towards the north and east. And as these kind of collide later today, we may see a few uh, sprinkles in far southeast Nebraska. Not a great chance of that as we've got a lot of dry air in uh, the lower levels of the atmosphere, but mostly cloudy, especially by tonight. A high temperature though, uh, still 58 degrees, although will be partly sunny. East winds. 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's a great day when you've got light winds and that continues into today, the 1st of February. By Groundhog Day, we do have a late chance for some rain, but that especially becomes possible through the second half of Saturday and into Sunday. You look at this forecast, we keep 50s around for quite some time. So I was telling you not to get used to it. I've been looking for when we're going to see cold weather again at some point in February and there's just not a great signal for it just yet. If you don't look for it, you won't find it. <laughs> You're telling me to stop looking? Stop yes. doing your job, Jessica. Just give us the good stuff. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. We'll still have